Hello, this is Moon and I have the breaker again. The challenge log from Mr. Black Magic that I am going to pick this time. Turns out it is um, looks very scary, but picks actually quite easily once you know how. So it's kind of uh, a sheep in a wolf skin, I think. So I'm going to need this cheap peak as a tensioner and just two hooks, a half diamond and a small hook. Let's get started. And after I pick it, I will explain why is it actually much easier than it was supposed to be. Um, but let me pick it first. set but not the deepest one it can do that pretty much means that we might still have one of the regular ish drivers and the thing is it has seven chambers uh, the first one is a spool um, second and the second to last I think are kind of Christmas trees was matching counter milling, but it doesn't quite work very efficiently. And the rest are those balls on uh, threads, uh, which kind of sets themselves in a way. So they are quite the opposite of the tapered pin. The tapered, if you, you kind of set it, but it's still catching and catching and catching, and you have to tap it again and again and again. And those balls, um, it's quite discreet. Either you have it in one position or in the next one. There is nothing in between. Um, when you put it to roughly right position, then it sets itself. And having those balls in chambers three, four, five, and seven, the four of them, uh, they go up and down, up and down, up and down, but you can a little bit overset the min lifts and you can, un can underset the max lifts because they then align themselves. So you just have to set them roughly and after that it's uh, easy going. So let's continue. One, up, two, down, three. Too far up. Let's get the smallest. I can't get the short hook above it. Now it's better, one, two down, three up. Now four is way too far up. Let's set that. One, two, three, four feels good. Five. And we now have something in the rear. Six and or seven. Let's get six down first. That's four. I mean, okay, it is roughly okay, but I cannot get them down enough with the half diamond. So let's get the hook again. One, two, three, 
two. I think two might still be catching. Now we got a click of it. Three, four, deep full set. Extremely deep one. That means that our two and six are picked. We have just one or a couple of balls to set. And right away, see, one is okay. Two is not a ball. Three is okay. Four. Four is the one that we need to set. No, four is okay. That's five. So we counter rotate and try to get it down. Interestingly, the, the Christmas trees tend to stay where they are. They don't drop. One, two, three, four. I guess we picked four one position, but need to pick it two. Okay, one, two is down, three up, four down, five up, six down, and seven. Seven is way too far up. Let's get seven where it should be. And it is open, yay. I can show you that it rotates full 360. And here is a key. Up and down, up and down, up and down. It works, not very smoothly, but it does. Read me is a manual explaining what to not do in order not to break it. And let's cut it. I'm so excited to have it picked. It was supposed to be the hardest challenge lock Mr. Black Magic did. And well, to be honest, without knowing the guts, it is very confusing and very challenging. But knowing the guts and knowing what to do about them, it gets much, much easier. So let's get this tailpiece out of the way. Let's get this ring out of the way. The manual will tell to insert the shim where one of those crosses are. So let's do that. avoid huge disasters it puts. And putting shim in it is not a trivial matter. Okay, is it fully inserted? No, it is not. It needs to go that deep. The most annoying shimming that I've done. Uh, 
I think now it's better. Alright. Let's get the follower. And here is why it needs to be shimmed right. Because of this and that. These holes snag on the balls very nicely. As well as a couple of other things. So seven, three, five, one. Those are the key pins, and here are the drivers. Spool, the Christmas tree, balls, balls. Balls, Christmas tree, and balls. Spring number two. Spring number four. Seven. Six. One, three, and five. So the chamber with some damage from the previous gutting, nice marking made in Germany, 1904-2021, the breaker. The core has counter milling as usual for us a 700, one, two, not three, four, not five, six. So one, two, four and six have counter milling. And of course this Keyway, which ends up having plenty of space for the pick. So let me show the close up of the guts. And that's it. The breaker picked and got it. Enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for watching. Bye.